Hey Libra, hope everything is going really well for you guys. So this is going to be a general love reading for the first half of February 2022. It's going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus signs in Libra and it is general so it's not going to be everybody's situation. Um, but of course you can check out one of your other signs if you want or you can book a personal reading with me. All that information is in the description box. Also, keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because the reading is general. All right, so let's see what is going on with Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, first couple weeks of February. All right, for the situation, we have the Nine of Cups crossed by Death. Ooh, okay, so Scorpio energy showing up here. Um, yeah, it feels like... This is interesting. It's like there is there is a connection here that feels like it would be your wish come true, right? It would be um, very fulfilling. But it also feels like something needs to change big time. Um, it could even be that one of you is feeling like this needs to, they need to put an end to it for some reason, even though it is it is what they want. All right, so this could be true for you, your person, um, or even the both of you. Let's see, for the recent past, we have the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, it feels like um, somebody wasn't able to give much to this connection for some reason, or wasn't able to give full commitment. Let's see, for your energy, we have the world as well as the Page of Cups. Yeah, it definitely feels like you want to close out um, a cycle here or close out a chapter or something. It definitely feels like there is some kind of a struggle with an ending of some type. And the reason why it's hard is because, well, the Page of Cups, there are still feelings here. There's still emotions here. Or maybe there are things that you still would want to have expressed to this person. Like maybe it feels like you haven't really said everything that you would have wanted to say. Let's see for them, we have the moon. So that's Pisces energy as well as temperance. All right, um, Sagittarius. I feel like this, there's some fears that this person might be holding on to. Um, there's something here that they still haven't 100% figured out within their own self. However, it is something that they're healing though. Or th this is coming in as um, possibly just something, it could be related to something from their past or it stems from something um, from their past. I don't know, we'll see when we clarify. Um, for the near future, we have the Two of Wands. Trying to figure something out, possibly somebody being at a crossroads. Um, and the message for you is the Nine of Wands. Okay, so yeah, it's definitely, I don't see this being done. It feels like there's um, some kind of a struggle here happening with an ending, like trying to end something, but I don't see it being 100% done yet. I feel like, I feel like there's still a little way to go, but not necessarily in order for it to end, in the end, at least. Let's see. All right, so let's clarify that Nine of Cups with Death. Have the six of cups the two of cups and the ace of swords yeah there's definitely love here and i do feel like it's mutual um not only is it mutual it's it's very deep as well and that's the reason why this ending is so difficult so i don't know um you would know why if this is resonating with you you would know why um it just feels like there needs to be an ending. And 
And I do feel like things are moving, all right? With this Ace of Swords, it's telling me that, yeah, there is love here. It's definitely a very deep connection. I do see the both of you wanting each other. I was saying something very similar actually to Gemini. Um, it feels like it's like a forced ending, like a forced ending is, is needed almost, even though it goes against what you are feeling, but it's needed for another, for another reason. Um, whatever that is, with the Ace of Swords being here, I feel like it's based in truth. Let's see, let's see this Page of Pentacles for the recent class. The Four of Swords and Judgment. It definitely feels like somebody um, was being a little bit passive here, not able to give much of their attention or not able, as I said, to give much commitment to this. And it has to do with some kind of a decision that needs to be made or some kind of a discernment that needs to be made some kind of um, healing as well that possibly needs to take place. Because, yeah, the Page of um, Pentacles is in the recent past, but I feel like, you know, this whoever that is, whether it's you or them, um, this is still something that's ongoing. This is still something that does need to be um, addressed, basically. And I feel like there was this, um, there was a revelation here in the recent past that, yeah, you know, this needs to be healed. This needs to be healed. And I feel like that's why um, you or they are feeling like, okay, there needs to be an ending here for now until this is healed, whatever that is. Let's see the world for your energy. Yeah, six of swords. Oh, yeah, you, I, you know what I'm getting? I don't need another card. I'm getting that this is a situation where it has felt like it has um, been going on for a long time and it has caused a lot of pain in the past for you. And that's why you're ready to close this out because you just don't want that pain anymore. You want to reach a space where you can just feel peace. And you, it's like you're realizing that the only way for you to find some peace is to let this go for now. Or to do something to break a vicious cycle that may have been going on. Let's see the Page of Cups. The Six of Wands and the Page of Cups again. I feel like you're headed in the right direction. Whatever it is that you're feeling or that you're doing, um, it's in tune with your intuition and it's leading to some kind of success here. And you know what, it, it really is okay even if certain things have been left unsaid. I feel like there will be this opportunity where you can actually express what it is that you want to express. Just go with the flow for now is what I'm getting. Go with the flow for now and there will be um, a resolution to whatever you feel is like um, unfinished business. And again, I, I really don't feel like this connection, like it's, like it's over. It's not over. All right, let's see. The moon for them. Why is the moon here? The Queen of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. All right, I don't know if there's another person involved here um, for some of you, all right, um, with the person that you're dealing with. Definitely could be the case for some of them. Um, what, if, if that's the case, there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety attached to that, as well as 
as fear. I feel like that if, if there is a third party here, that connection is creating a lot of um, chaos for them. But it's also bringing up a lot of a lot of the shadows, like a lot of the shadows are coming up to the light to be seen. And this is something that is going to help this person to actually heal and to move forward, especially in terms of, you know, where they want to give their attention to, where do they want to give their affection to, where do they want to um, give nurture to. A lot of these things I feel like they have been hidden or this person was just very um, confused about how to handle this situation. If there is no third party, this has to do with this person's um, ability to heal their own self and ability to take care of their own self. And again, I feel like this is something that is coming up to the surface because it's like the way that they were taking care of themselves, which I feel was not very efficient, that's you know going to be reflected in the way that they can also take care of another person. And I feel like that's why they weren't able to give much to this connection if this was them. And I do feel like it's them. Um, it's because they weren't even able to take care of their own self. So how are they going to take care of another person? How can they be present in a connection with another person when they can't even be present with their own self, basically? So there's a lot that this person is actually going through at the moment. A lot of things that are coming up to the surface and I feel like it's also a lot of fears that are coming up to the surface, especially concerning their own self. I'm even getting that this, this is a person who um, possibly lacked um, or was deprived of nurture when they were growing up. So. Let's see temperance. Definitely feels like this is healing though. With temperance being here. Okay. The Four of Cups, Strength, and the Fool. Yeah, they're definitely getting stronger here. And I, again, with this Four of Cups, I feel like this is related to past, past traumas, past disappointments, having been neglected in the past, um, either as a child or just at some point in the past, maybe by other relationships. So I feel like this is something that has also been an issue for them and is also contributing to um, whatever the issue seems to be here. And because of that, you know, that's why there's this ending that is um, needed at the moment. But this person is getting stronger through this process. Not only are they getting stronger, I feel like they're becoming more brave as well in order to take some kind of um, a risk here. Because it could be that this person feels like it's a risk to actually move towards what, what would make them happy. Um, it's a risk to open up. It's a risk to allow someone else to nurture them. It's a risk to nurture somebody else. All of this to them, to this person feels like it's been a risk. But there, there's this healing that is happening. It might, it might be taking a little bit of time, but it is happening. And they're gaining that courage to just trust, to just trust. Trust the unknown. Trust something that they're not used to trusting. Let's see the two of wands for the near future. All right, we have the two of wands again and the empress. Okay, so definitely... Um, it is taking a little bit of time, but something is happening here because with that Empress, I'm seeing that is actually being um, 
this person here that you're dealing with. This person is learning about self-love. This person is learning about um, just how to take care of their own self. They're learning about self-worth and having, being able to have what it is that that they deserve or being able to give to someone else what what they deserve, what the other person deserves. Because I feel like in this connection, it just feels like this person, they were not feeling worthy and for that reason, you know, they were not able to give to you what you deserve. So they weren't able to receive nor give. That's what I'm getting. But coming up, I feel like that is shifting. It, again, it is taking a little bit of time, but they're, they're working in that direction. It almost even feels like it's a plan, like there's a plan involved here. All right, so let's see the Nine of Wands for the message for you. All right, the Seven of Pentacles and the Three of Cups. Yeah, it's a work in progress, all right? It's definitely a work in progress. I feel like the first steps are already being taken here. It is taking a little bit of time with the Nine of Wands. It is definitely a struggle, but um, it's not done. It's definitely not done. This is that Nine of Wands. This person is pushing through. And it's you can see how it's not easy. This is someone who has been wounded in the past. Um, and it's not easy to keep moving forward, but they're doing it. All right, and it's moving towards this Three of Cups, moving towards, you know, being lighter, being happier. Three of Cups is also about a reconciliation. So, yeah, definitely feels like it's not over, right? That reconciliation is definitely in the potential here, and it does seem like that's where things are moving, right? The seeds are being planted for that. It's just taking a little bit of time because, well, healing oftentimes does take a little bit of time. So... Libra. If this resonated, let's see the final message for you. All right, and we have the number seven. Pause in your journey. Yeah, I feel like that's pretty much exactly what we've been talking about, right? It's like, like I said, like a forced ending, but it's not, it's not forever. It's a pause in your journey that's needed in order for this healing to take place. So Libra, those are your messages. I thank you so much for watching and much love.